program. We're down here at the sanctuary uh, at DVGRR and, and we are in the grooming room currently. It also doubles as our bathroom. So, but you can see we have a tub here and we got all of our grooming supplies. So I wanted to show you some grooming uh, techniques for your goldens or golden doodles. And even if you have a groomer that you go to, things that you can do between grooming appointments. So now I have Ian here and he's going to demonstrate how to clean ears. Well, I'm going to demonstrate on him how to clean his ears. So for doodles especially, their ears sometimes, depending on how curly they are, they will get fur that grows inside of the ear and that needs to be taken care of at your vet or at the groomer that they can t get that hair out of there. Um, his ears actually look pretty good on the inside. Um, some doodles don't have hair that grow in there. It just grows on the edge here and we actually keep that trimmed up. So then you can use some cleaning pads. We use cotton rounds and you can do it one of two ways depending on how sensitive your dog is. If, if their ears are really gunky and they have a lot of junk in them, then you just take your ear cleaner, go to your vet and ask them what ear cleaner they recommend and you just hold the ear up like this, put a little bit of solution in there and then you're rubbing at the base of the ear and massaging it around and then stop and let them see if he wants to shake it out a little bit. Go ahead, shake it out. Shake it out. There you go. And then I take a dry, there you go. I take a dry cotton round and then I just wipe out the inside there. And he does. He has so to appearance, he did not have, I couldn't really see that his ears were that dirty, but now because I put that solution down there and I'm putting my, I'm just like putting my finger in with the cotton round here. You don't want to shove it way down, but just a, enough like the tip of your finger can go in. Then you can see that I got a lot of junk out of there. And then I will also, oh, so if they are sensitive, you can just take the solution and put some on a pad like that. And then do the same thing and wipe with your fingertip here. See, he's got some junk in there that I couldn't even see with my eye. So sometimes their ears might be dirty and you can't even really tell. And then what I'll do to clean it up real good, and they might shake their head a little bit afterwards, so don't be alarmed by that. Um, the ear flap, the ear flap gets dirty, so I'll just take some of the solution. You're being a good boy, Ian. And I'll just wipe that off and I'll try to get in all the crevices you can use a Q-tip for the crevices, but don't stick a Q-tip down their ear canal. So you can see, he's a dirty dog. He likes to roll. He's a dirty doodle. He likes to roll out in the muddy yard, and it is very muddy today. If the dog has an ear infection, the ear might look red. Um, it might have an excessive amount of uh, dirt in it. If it's a light colored wax or like a pus looking uh, fluid, that is an ear infection. And if it smells, it's an ear infection. So you will want to get your dog to the vet. Also, if the, your dog is very sensitive to having their ears cleaned, I would have somebody help you or um, take them to the vet for the vet to, to clean them out. Okay, thank you, Ian. <laughs> Hi, I'm Heather again, and I'm at the sanctuary. Thank you so much for watching today, and don't forget to subscribe and share our YouTube channel.